In this video, I'm going to share the evolution of scientific theories about the structure of atom. The history of atom goes back to 370 BC, where a Greek philosopher Democritus and his teacher Lysippus for the first time define atom as an indivisible smallest particle of matter. They believed atom cannot be further broken down into smallest pieces. To keep the story continued, I would like to interrupt by saying please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet in order not to miss other updates that I'm uploading for you people. However, the first very impressive approach based on the then available scientific data for defining atom was made by Dalton in 1803. His definition of atom was based on the law of conservation of mass and the law of conservation of constant composition in different chemical compounds. The first part of his definition was just a repetition of the Democritus definition, that is, Dalton considered atom as an indivisible particle. However, he further added that the atoms of a given element are all identical both physically and chemically. And the atoms of different elements are different in both size and masses. In the light of his definition, he further elucidated that the compounds are formed from different combinations of different types of atoms and the chemical reaction results from the rearrangement of atoms and reactants and in the products. This concept of atom remained intact for around 90 long years and was put to an end after the discovery of electron by J.J. Thomson in 1897. The discovery of electron compelled the scientists of the era to put forward another model accommodating the existence of the newly born baby, which gave birth to the plum pudding model of J.J. Thompson in 1904. In this model, the atom was considered to be made up of cloud of negative electron that floats in a soup of positive charge like the one you see over here. This is much like the plums in pudding or raisin within a fruit cake. However, it was not accurately settled till the end that how the electron was distributed under equilibrium within the plum pudding atom. Nevertheless, Thompson was awarded with a Nobel Prize for this work in 1906. The discovery of the phenomena of relativity by Henry Becquerel and the following work by Mary Curie and her husband Perry Curie paved the path for bringing another model somewhat close to its actual real structure. The fall of collimated beam of heavy radiation emitted from a radioactive material on metal foil and particularly gold foil and it's scattering through giant angles led the food to mold the plum pudding model into a new structure containing positively charged cores of a very tiny size in 1911. This gave birth to a new regime within the atom and was in fact the discovery of nucleus. The new structure of Rutherford atomic model, although correctly added the concept of nucleus for explaining the large deviation of the incident alpha particle in his experiment, but could not succeed in providing stability to his newly suggested model qualifying the test of electromagnetic theory of radiation. The circulating electron in the model should radiate continuously a speculation that was going against the then experimentally available data in the form of spectroscopically observed light spectrum from different gaseous materials. Secondly, the continuous emission of radiation by itself would lead to the collapse of electron motion and hence of the instability of the atom. 
because at every moment the loss of energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation will cause the electron to spiral around the nucleus and finally fall down into it. The instability in Rutherford model and its inability to explain the emission of line spectrum from gaseous atomic media was highly perturbing and was calling for a solution. However, soon in 1913, Bohr came up with a smart idea by mixing up the Ford model with the 1905 Einstein quantum theory for photon and suggested a semi-classical model that not only provided stability to rather four atomic model but also correctly explained the different empirical formulas that was constructed for explaining different series of hydrogen spectrum. However, the existence of quantized orbit in the Bohr atomic model were put to skepticism but being parallel with the experimental observation of atomic spectra, the theory of Bohr atomic model stood tall. The discovery of proton in 1917 by Rutherford and the first kind of nuclear reaction between alpha particles and nitrogen atom of the form shown over here further clarify that the nucleus of an atom is not a single particle rather it is composed of discrete positively charged called protons. However, it was not immediately clear that how these positive charged particles place in a tiny volume accommodate each other in the presence of Coulomb repulsive force. Rutherford in 1920 suggested the existence of another kind of particle inside the nucleus for its stability against the Coulomb repulsive force and for explaining the existence of isotopes. However, the nature of the particle was not explained and therefore was not known to anybody. The Swag suggestion of Rutherford came true almost 10 years later when Chadwick in 1930 discovered neutron. With this discovery, the list of the constituent of atom completed, but there were still too many challenges for the structure of atom based on Bohr atomic theory. It was unable to explain fine structure of many electron atoms. The model was further modified by Summerfield by suggesting both elliptical and circular orbit for electron motion. With this modification, the model was able to account for some additional experimental data but still at failure in many other cases. The structure of nuclear by itself was also a challenging task that were later explained through models like liquid drop models and shell models. However, the complete explanation to experimental observation came through the model based on quantum theory in which too many pioneers of the theory contributed considerably.